Well, guys, I finally know why Streamlight calls their flashlight stingers. Because with three brightness, 2,000 lumens, this thing's sure about to sting your eyes. We're going to review it. Check it out. What's up, guys? And welcome back to the channel, The Auto Shop Life. So, as you guys see in the beginning of the video, we're going to go ahead and uh, give my review on the new Streamlight 2020, they call it. Stinger 2020. And... Uh, with 2,000 lumens, I gotta say, this thing's pretty bright. Let's get into it. Shut up and sit down. Alright guys, so before we dive down, i show you guys what's in the box, what, kind of what it comes with. Mind, this thing is an expensive light. The only reason why I went ahead and purchased the new uh, Streamlight, I, I lost my other one. You know, I, I probably, uh, I've probably bought five of those and I have the chargers to prove it. But good thing, you can use the same chargers as the older models. They do snap in there, pretty much the base. You can see the two ones. The batteries are different, but you guys can see the shape of them. They call this an anti-roll design. It's kind of flat got textured both sides a little bit like rubberized texture and uh, two buttons one on the bottom just like the newer LED ones and then one on the side this does have a little indicator on there you know a green it flashes red when it's about to go dead and then you got a low medium and high setting all the way on high it emits 2,000 lumens and uh, boy this thing really uh, you know, it probably a little too bright in certain situations. You know, it just whitewashes what you're looking at. You could barely tell, but it's kind of cool that you got the options to kind of flip back and forth. I will say on the high setting, we could probably see what the box says, read the instructions. I'm not really sure, but use, after using it for 30 days, I'll tell you, you'd be lucky to get 50 minutes on high. You know, it, it's uh, definitely not going to last an hour on high. Uh, medium, on the other hand, you're definitely going over an hour and low. Probably, I'd have to say, you get a good three hours of use. And that's without reading the instructions. I'll let you guys know what the instructions says. But I kind of like the design. You know, pretty nice. Fits nice in the hand. You know, you got double the buttons. This thing does do the, you know, double-click strobe. Turn it off. Same thing with the front button. You know, double-click it and it strobes. But uh, it's pretty solid light. You can tell it's definitely built well. Stinger 2020. We'll dive down, see what's in the box, show you guys what this thing comes with. All right, guys. So now that we're in my office, got the box open. Pretty much what the box comes in, you can see the packing on it. You'll get a lanyard. You'll get the wall mount that this thing hooks onto. It does not have the extra battery on the side. It's just a standalone clip that these things lock into. I am using, you know, just my old Stinger mount. Right there, you can see I still got the battery on charge, although I lost that flashlight. But kind of up close what this thing looks like. Like I said, the buttons, super bright LED on there, three modes. Here's where the battery tray sits. You just pull this tab back, pop the battery tray out. Looks like they're running a couple 18650s, um, you know, and their logo Streamlight, uh, 2600 milliamp, 3.7, you know, just the standard battery. I'm pretty sure Streamlight sells these batteries by themselves so you could have a spare. They are running these batteries uh, parallel to each other, you know, so it's giving you double the voltage, but it's pretty much a little tray, little button. That's probably the click button there for the uh, bottom button there, but you drop it on in there, clip it, and ready to go. It's also got this little clip here. I'm not sure if this is for the lanyard or the you know something for the belt you could clip this onto a belt maybe they have a hard case you could clip it onto the belt I know I'm not walking around with a flashlight strapped to my hip I'd rather put this thing in my pocket kicking the camera again guys but you could see the design you know if you do have this thing in your pocket instead of the old round ones you know this thing's a little bit flatter I, I, I guess more comfortable to sit on <laughs> if you're sitting on flashlights um, but yeah, nice little textured. Uh, like I said, you got the uh, 12 volt cigarette lighter adapter. You got stickers in here. It, do, it did come with the plug, the standard plug and the wall mount. Um, that's pretty much the box in itself. Some of the uh, features on this thing. 
like I had said, you got the, uh, the anti-roll, non-skid textured side panels, uh, power switch with battery charge indicator on the front, like I had said, through that button, the uh, three mode intensity switch, uh, tactical switch with full function, and then the uh, quick release battery door to get the batteries out. Um, like I said, I, I think they need to uh, follow up with this one. I'm not really sure if you can buy an extra, you know, extra batteries and have extra batteries on charge. But you know, if it's an 18650, you pretty much find a, you know, one of the same 2600 milliamps, and you could use any 18650 battery you want. Although, you know, the time might be a little different. Uh, let's see what this says as far as uh, as far as runtime. Because, like I said, on high. You'd be lucky to really to tell you guys the truth. You'd be lucky to get a half hour. So pretty much getting down what this thing comes with. Looks like uh, just some propaganda in the bag here in the box. Um, you know, looks like a little lantern light and maybe a little headlight showing other products. You do get the Streamlight sticker. Um, but getting it's back to the flashlight. I want to say part number on this is just Stinger 2020. I'd probably say. I don't know if the camera's picking that up for you guys, but. Like I said, guys, runtime on this, you'd be lucky to be getting a half hour out of on high. Uh, medium, like I said, you're definitely getting over an hour, and then you know, low, you're getting a couple hours runtime on it. Um, at least the way I use flashlights, like I said, I've only been using this thing 30 days. We'll see how these 18650s hold up. Um, you know, they don't last forever. Those, you know, any of you guys out there vaping or modding or using these batteries, you know, you get a good maybe six seven eight months of the you know high use and they just uh you know they either don't hold a charge or won't charge anymore at all so we'll see how those batteries hold up but for the most part like i said definitely a rugged tactile flashlight i dig it it's uh you know it's nice to have the three modes depending on the situation you're in or where you're at in the car or working underneath these things but that's uh my review of the new streamlight 2020 wrap this one up Alright guys, so wrapping this one out, you guys got my review of this new Stinger 2020, uh, you know, 30 days, 30 days out. We'll see how this thing holds up, we'll see how the batteries hold up. I like it. You guys know how I am about flashlights. This one is my go-to now. Um, this came down to, I'm the only one that uh, is able to use this one in the shop. You know, the guys, Lauren, everything, they're not allowed to touch my Stinger light because I wasn't the one that lost the last one. You know, I wasn't the one... I didn't use it last when it came up missing, and like I said, I'm tired of buying these things. I've probably bought five or six of them my whole career, and like I said, guys, I got the chargers to prove it. Chargers here, chargers in the box, chargers at home. Great that this thing, you know, utilizes the same old charger, which is really cool. You ain't, if you're like me, you got it mounted to the back of the box or wires tucked behind, tied into something, you know, you ain't got to clean that up. Just pretty much take the old one off, pop this one on. It's not like we're losing the chargers, guys. We're losing the actual flashlight, so... Or maybe just, I'm not sure if they offer just the flash, a standalone flashlight for sale, but this for the kit, like I said, comes with a hefty price tag. Shop around. You guys definitely check this thing out. It does run warm, but the runtime, I'd have to say, it's not what they say. You know, 30 minutes on high, I guess if you need that kind of light for that short amount of time, I should have put a timer on it, guys. Like, it's, it's, not, it's, it's not that much, but running it on low, more than enough light for most situations, you know, you're able to get good three, four, five hours out of it, I'd have to say. But that's about it, guys. As always, like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and we'll catch you in the next one. Signing out.